Hello everybody, Mustafa the VHS DVD Blu-ray fan to bus and five here, and this is a VHS DVD update for August twenty eighth, two thousand and nineteen. For today's update video, I'm going to be showing you eight VHSs and five DVDs. On Monday, I went out to Elgin Mills and I went there to Valley Village and I scored 6 BHS and 5 DVDs. And then today, I received a VHS tape in the mail off of eBay which I won as a bid auction last Wednesday. So we're bound to begin. So for all of those stuff like which I'm about to go and show you like VHS and DVDs, of course, I picked them all up from Valley Village in El Gamilas on Monday. And as for the VHS tape I received in the mail off of eBay, I'll my point out to you all in a minute. But for anyways, for about for any further ado, here we go. So this first up is the 1991 VHS of City Slickers. City Slickers. I'm guessing this movie is from 1991, I'm not so sure. To and for a suicidic, uh, do not need to pronounce that right, and I cannot say it. Thumbs up says Siskel and Ebert from Billy Crystal and Daniel Stern and Bruno Kirby. Finally got another new line tape. It's been a while since I've I never gotten any of those new line tapes from a long time because I only got two of them, which was Elf and Raise Your Voice, but now I've got my third one, of course. It's been a while. A10 says, Gary Franklin, KABC TV. The roadiest western joke fest since Basling Saddle, says Peter Travels, Rolling Stone. Rated PG-13, 140 minutes. This new line movie was co-produced by Columbia Pictures and Castle Rock Entertainment. So, yeah. Here's the tape with the vertical ink label, which that one's my very first new line tape with the vertical ink label. So, no print date on this tape, by the way, and I have to rewind this tape. Next up, the tip us in one features of Clifford the Big Red Dog, Clifford Saves the Day. Yep, I finally got another Clifford the Big Red Dog tape for the collection. This is now my fourth one. Yeah, some of the corners has been torn off and ripped when I got it, so I need to tape it back up as you can see. So, includes four stories based on the best selling books and TV series on PBS Kids. When things get tough on Birdwell Island, Clifford comes to the rescue. The episodes are Cliff, Stormy Weather, Islander of the Year, Circus Stars, and Clifford on Parade. Sorry, like is why I meant to say there by the first episode, by the way. The running time is the approximately 45 minutes. This tape has been rewinded, so yeah. Here's the tape. The print date is January 9th, 2002. So, a late print. Next up, the 2003 features of Bandit Like Beckham, 2002 movie, a winner hugely enjoyable says Leaf Rosen People. A wonderful film, two thumbs up, says Uber and Wooper. Rated PG-13, 112 minutes. Yeah, I unfortunately cannot read everything for the cast from Rated PG-13 since it's smaller and tiny and, and it's hard for y'all to see it, but that's alright. Because ever since it's hard for me to pronounce, so yeah. And this tape has also been rewinded. 
Here's the tape. That CVC symbol right here. The print date is August 28th, 2003. So this tape has turned 16 years old recently. So yeah. Alright, and now next is the tape I got in the mail from eBay today, which I want. This is a bid auction, which for those of you who have been reading my post on my community tab, the 2001 features of Rugrats Kwanzaa, a double length Kwanzaa celebration. I finally got another Rugrats tape, and it's been a while. I really didn't get any of those Rugrats holiday tapes, but. Since if I finally found this one, like which is a Canadian copy, which I bought it off of eBay, I'm actually do hoping to get three more of those Rugrats holiday tapes, which are a Rugrats Kwanzaa and the Santa Experiment, which is a 2000 re release with different cover art and a black tape, which I did see that one off of eBay, but however, it was sold. But oh well, I'm actually do hoping that another one will pop up from eBay sometime. And Rugrats Christmas, which is a Canadian copy, which I have trouble finding this one in the trip stores, which I cannot find that tape anywhere while I was in the trip stores. So since if I cannot find Rugrats Christmas to bust in two beaches, like which is a Canadian copy, like while I was in the trip stores. I'm actually do hoping that seller, as if I bought this tape, same as Dora's Pirate Adventure and Dora's Move to the Music, Dora the Explorer Move to the Music, like what I meant to say. Like, yeah, I'm actually do hoping that seller, as if I bought this tape, will list down Rugrats Christmas 2002 Beach as, as a Canadian copy, which. So, hopefully, I can do as a bid auction for that tape, which I'm do hoping to win it. So. Yeah, I'm do hoping for that seller as if I bought this tape. Well, it's down Rugrats Christmas 2002 Beaches, which I will bid on it as a bid action. So hopefully I can win that one and then hopefully I can have it soon. And now anyways, for the episodes, um, I know Rugrats Kwanzaa episode being a Rugrats Kwanzaa, like, I think that one is, but like, I'm not so sure, but... Either when November or December comes in this year, I'll have to watch to see what Rugrats Kwanzaa episode titled is. And a two bonus episodes is, and the winner is, and Cooking with Susie. Not rated. 46 minutes. Yeah, I actually did have to tape up the corners of the case and the top as you could see. It was in bad shape. Yeah. I even taped up the top and the corner, so yeah. And and I of course I also have to rewind this tape. Like yeah, I have to rewind this one when I got it. So yeah. And now anyways, here's the tape. That C V C symbol right here. The print date is August 28th, 2001. And that's just bizarre because Either when I got this tape from eBay today, um, the print date says August 28th, which means today is August 28th. So I'm guessing that this means that this tape has turned 18 years old recently. So yeah. But not only by that, because when I got this tape in the mail from eBay today, I've checked the opening to this tape and just like my... 2000 BHS of Rugrats Babies on Board, which also known as Discover America. That one has Stay Tuned Bumper after the Rugrats The Paris the Movie on VHS and DVD trailer and before Paramount Feature Presentation, which I don't know why they would put in here like on the Rugrats tape. Same as for Rugrats Babies on Board. Like, yeah, I've only checked the opening to this tape. I have not watched it yet, but. Since if it has Stay Tuned Bumper after the Rugrats to Paris, the movie VHS and DVD trailer, which, like, yeah, like I said, either when November or December comes in this year, I'll have to check to see, like, what presentation it has after all of those free of those episodes, like, on this tape. Yeah, I might have to check. And now, anyways, next up, 
The 1997 features of Dirty Harry from Clint Eastwood, Wonder Brothers Classics Tape. 1971 movie. I also do have another Dirty Harry movie from Clint Eastwood, which that being Sundan Impact, which I have it up here. Like, let's see if I can pull this out. There you go. Yep, that's the movie, like, which I still have. But right now, I finally got this one. And since if I finally got it, I'm actually do hoping to get three more of those Dirty Harry movies sometime soon. So, yeah. And as you can see, I also need to tape up the corners because it came off. So, yeah. Refetting brilliantly. Filmed and edited for maximum impact since Leon Art, Maltens, and Movie and Video Guide. Special features before the movie original vehicle trailers of Dirty Harry, Megan Force, The End Facer, Sun Impact, and The Deadpool. Which I'm do hoping to get three more of those movies sometime soon. Rated R 113 minutes. I also have to rewind this tape. Here's the tape. Let's see if you see symbol right here. The print date is. It's faded, but I believe it's May 11th, 1998. So, another late print. And if you could take a look at this, everybody, there's a little bit bent and a crack on the cassette, which I'm not so sure why, but. Hopefully the tape will play good, so, yeah. And now, anyways, next up, the 2003 Wonder Home video features of Teletubbies, but stat. Delightful dance and silly surprise. As you can see, this tape comes in a cut box, so this must have been like a former rental from Hamilton Public Library. Like yeah, this tape has been a former rental from Hamilton Public Library. So yeah. And even it's got some stickers on the case you could see. And it's been a while since I finally got this tape. I've been wanting this one for a while, but right now I finally had it. And this one's actually put... I can't speak right now. And this one's actually pretty rare because as you could see, it's got the Canadian rating G sticker on it. So this is a Canadian copy, which I've could have sworn if this tape was only available in USA only, as you could says right here, but this tape was actually in the Canadian copy. And when I either found out like from a trip store, I was like, what the heck? Like how come why is this one in the Canadian copy? But Oh well, since if it was pretty rare, I might get this one, alright? Yeah, I'm probably guessing that Canadian copy of this tape turns out to be ultra rare. So, for those of you all that you cannot find this Canadian copy to this tape anywhere, but I'm very lucky to find this one as is. So, yeah, I finally got the 2003 Wonder Home videotape of this. I've been wanting this one. I was originally going to order it from Amazon.com, which was brand new, but... No need for me to order it since if I finally got this one. Since if I've been wanting it for a while, so yeah, I finally got this one. All right, not rated. And now, um, even though the case says 65 minutes, however, look to the film strip. Look at it. See that? Yes, you can see there's much loaded on here. Is the film strip. So this means this must have been a recycle tape. And if you could and if you could take a look at this. Yep, as you could see, just like my 2001 Bueno Home video features of Go Excise with the Teletubbies, this one has a dark light stick label, which that means that one's my second Teletubbies Bueno Home video tape with a dark light stick label on it. And this one's also pretty rare, so I got lucky to find this one from Valley Village in El Gamilas on Monday. And let me tell you right now, that was an awesome find out of everything I've gotten from Valley Village in El Gamilas on Monday. So, yeah. 
The print date is July 23rd, 2003. Mm, and as you can see over here, it's got that sticker thingy logo on it, which I do not know what it is, but I'm not gonna bother to reveal it. I'm gonna keep it that way this is, so yeah. And I do know VHS DVD grinded to bust bun, and I collect VHSs and DVDs has that to bust and free run a home videotape of this. But their copies was actually in American USA, while my copy of this tape is in a Canadian copy. So yeah. And I also do have the 2004 Paramount Home Entertainment reprint features of this. But right now I finally got the original 2003 one at home videotape to go with it. And by the way, if I haven't really said so, this one I also have to rewind. And by the way, that one is totally the second to last. Teletubbies one at home video features tape to ever been released it. Um, the very last one to be released in from one at home video is the Ultra Wear 2004 re release of O, which that one is totally the very last Teletubbies features tape to be released in from one at home video before Paramount has to take over of those PBS Kids tapes. So, yeah. I'm do hoping to find that one at home video copy of Ooh sometime, sometime soon. So yeah, I'm actually do hoping to find another copy of Ooh, like which from one at home video. Well, although I might still keep the Paramount copy, which was right here. Like yep, I might still keep it, but I'm actually do hoping to get Teletubbies Ooh, which from one at home video, which was since if it was ultra rare and hard to find. So yeah, I'm actually do hoping to find it. And now, anyways, on to our last tape. Crazy Beautiful. Two thumbs up says Open and Whooper and the Movies. Three stars says USA Today. USA Today. Kristen Dunst and J, J. Herndon Ace. You all pretty much the memo why, how come I didn't say the year for this tape and the movie? Because probably since Disney companies are dumb for not listing the any of the years of their movies. And like for the actual tapes. Yeah, I forgot to look it up on IMDP and eBay and Amazon before the update video. So yeah, I'm going to have to look it up later. And excuse me if y'all been hearing that. If y'all heard that by the way, so I meant to say Dust and Herndonese Sizzle says U.S. Weekly. Free Star says Chigago Tribune. Rated PG-13 for mature feminic material involving teens, drug, occult, contact, sexual and language, and it is 99 minutes. This one has a blue lid. So, yeah. Here's the tape. The cottage number is 16 out of 21. This one I also have to rewind. So, yeah. So many of these tapes for me to rewind, like which I already rewinded them, of course. Alright, and now that's gonna be it, like for all of those speech chest tapes. And now for the five DVDs. Um, unfortunately, one of those DVDs had no disc inside it. I might reveal it to you all in a minute, but right now just let me sure show you all this first DVD first. The 2004 DVD of Dora the Explorer, Dora's Halloween. Join Dora for a Halloween adventure. I have this one on VHS. The special features on here is Dora's Halloween Hunt Game and Nick Jr. Baby Video Sneak Peek. The episodes are Boo, The Missing Piece, To The Monkey Bars, and The Big Storm. Not rated, the running time is 98 minutes. Here's the DVD, which for some reason the artwork kind of looks like to be a little bit faded. Or maybe it's not type of faded, maybe it's because of the shadow, but maybe I don't know if it looks a little bit faded or not, but that's right, I can deal with it. And, and for this DVD, as of for this DVD, I didn't need to refurbish it at all because there were nothing on the back of the disc, so. 
All right, and now for this next DVD, which I'm about to go and show you. This one is unfortunately the Choke Fest. As you can see, this was purchasedly purchased in some stores, which I don't know what that's about. Yes, you could see some of the slip case, the DVD slip case got increased. But that's not all because you'll find out why in a minute. I'm probably guessing that some of y'all can say probably it's because it's the wrong DVD, but nope, it was not the wrong DVD. Here's what the actual case looks like. And now, normally I bought this DVD brand new, but the shrink wrap wasn't on this DVD. There were just security stickers like on top here, and even on over here, and even over here. And when I even took them out already, I even opened up the case and look what's inside it. No DVD in here. Wow, that is a really great rip off. No DVD inside here. And it came with these inserts like as you could see, but I'm not going to bother showing them to you all because I'm pretty much tired right now. I might show the inserts to you all when I do my 2019, I meant 2020 edition, the updated version of my Thomas and Friends VHS and DVD collection, which for next year. Like, yep, like I said, I might show the inserts like in this DVD, um... When I do the 2020 edition, the updated version of my Thomas and Friends VHS and DVD collection. Like, I might show them to you all when I do this collection video of my Thomas and Friends, like for next year, of course. But I'm sorry, I cannot show you all the inserts. Like I said, I might show them to you all when I do my Thomas and Friends collection video for next year for the updated version for the 2020 edition. All right. And now anyways, on to our next DVD, the 2010 DVD of Dora the Explorer. Let's explore Dora's greatest adventures. Normally I do not like collecting Dora the Explorer DVDs, like which from 2009 until 2015 since because of the new Dora series, but since that's because it has the episodes like which from the older series, then I've decided to go ahead and pick this one up. Because ever since that, to be honest, I do not like the new Dora series. I only like the old series. And since if it has the episodes from the old series, then... Like, yeah, like I said, I've decided to pick this one up. And this one's actually the Canadian copies you could see. The only special features is Explore Dora's World Game. The episodes are Lost Map. Hide and Go Seek, Journey to the Purple Planet, Rescue, 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 Star Catcher, and Star Mountain, Boots to the Rescue, and Swiper the Explorer. Not rated, and it's 198 minutes. So this is almost 200 minutes, of course, to be exact. Here's the, here's the DVD. Um, for this one, I need to refurbish it, as you can see. Yep, I need to refurbish that one. Same thing with this next DVD right here, which was The Muppets 2012 DVD, 2011 movie. This is a remake version of Then the, then the Muppets movie, like from the original movie, like which I already have on VHS. So. But this one right here is the remake version then the Muppets movie, like which was the original one, like I said. Not just the year's best family film, it's one of the year's best films, period, says Jake Hamilton Fox TV. From Jason Siegel, Emmy Adams, and Chris Cooper. Includes DVD and soundtrack. Although it doesn't come with the soundtrack, but that's alright. And since if I finally got this one, um, I'm actually do hoping to get 
the sequel, like we trust the Muppets Most Wanted, either on eBay or Amazon, or I'm actually do hoping to find it in any chip store soon, or any at media store DVDs that place one. Even if you weren't a Muppets fan, you will become one after this movie, says Kevin Marcardry, CBS Radio. And here's what the disc one for the features has. I'm not going to bother reading them. Rated PG-13 for some mild, rude humor, and it's 103 minutes. 103 minutes. Here's the DVD. Yep, like I said, I also have to refurbish that. And it came with the insert, but I might as well show them to you all. Sorry I didn't show it on this DVD because you pretty much get the memo. Because, like I said, for next year, which was 2020 edition, the updated one, I might show them to you all. Like, plus when I get another copy of this DVD, which was Carnival Keepers, of course. And I've started to end it up making this video too long for y'all, which I apologize for that. Just, I don't know what's going on with me. I should have supposed to do not talking in this video, but I ended up talking. And I even ended up making this one too long for y'all, which I apologize. For this code, it expires on April 1st, 2013. But for this another code right here, if y'all want it from Disney Movie Awards, go ahead and try it from this one. Don't try it from... Don't try it from this. Uh-uh. Don't try it from this. Try it from this to see if that will work. Because I don't think it might work. But if y'all want it, go ahead, try it. Last DVD for the update, this is from 2015 Universal Home Entertainment and it's the double Thomas and Friends feature DVD of Thomas Gets Tricked and Thomas Halloween Adventures. Two DVDs, my second Thomas and Friends DVD from Universal Home Entertainment. The first one which I already have still is Ultimate Christmas. Peep beep. Narrated by Ringo Starr, like which from Thomas Gets Trick DVD, of course. Bonus feature, sing-along song, and bonus DVD game. Memory game, and character gallery. Cinder and Ashes from Thomas's Halloween Adventures. The bonus features are learn to count, character gallery, sing-along songs, and read along the great race. Not rated 100 in minutes. Here's the DVD for Thomas's Halloween Adventures, and originally released it in 2006. And here's the DVD for Thomas Gets Tricked, and originally released it in 2007. And for this DVD right here, Thomas's Halloween Adventures, I remembered renting it like the original copy, like of this DVD from Richmond Hill Public Library, either back in 2007 and back in 2008. Right now, I finally got my new old copy of this DVD, but ever since Universal Home Entertainment starts releasing that DVD, along with that one back in 2015, like which was June, of course. Alright, and now anyways, that's my update video done. VHS DVD update done for June. Uh, no, VHS DVD update for August 28th, 2019 done. I apologize for that many screw ups, but like not that many, but a few. Like, yep, like I said, I apologize for that. And now, anyways, I will see you all later, everybody. Have a good night. This is Mustafa, the VHS DVD, Blue Egg Fan 2005, signing out.